Hello guys, MSA545 here and welcome back to Thumbcraft. So uh, we're going to get started in this episode very quickly. I really need to clear out all this stuff here. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into this episode very quickly by crafting ourselves a new sword of whirlwinds. Because it's a really cool sword and I uh, always get it broken and I think I got the name wrong. Did I? Yeah, it was four winds, not whirlwinds. Oh well. But they're, they're really good actually. I do really love these swords. And um, just because I go through them so quickly, it's not much point in having a, a huge enchantment in them. But I might as well do a level 2 enchantment, which I don't think I can actually do. So I've got so many bookcases around. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, hmm. What, what am I going to do? I'll just get some more enchantment levels then. Okay, so I dug out some old XP from some old XP books I from the Killing the Dragon. Haven't got much left now. Um, I've got about maybe 10 more XP from it. Uh, so, you know, i got to be careful. And once we get a level 25, we're good to go. Nope. Oh, why can I not get a level 25? I might just go for like a close-ish one, like 24. Oh. Oh. Nope. 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 Okay, I'll come back to you when I get a level 25. Okay, so it's only been a couple of seconds really since I did that last bit. But I finally found level 25 and we're going to click it. And what is it? What is it? Smite 5. That's not bad. That's not bad. I would rather have him breaking though because it's such quite a good sword and I go, do go through them quite fast. Although uh, there's a couple of things I have to plan to do today. One of them is to make a new pickaxe because this one is a diamond instead of thomium. But um, remember how I always used to find it nearly impossible to think of an old V's machine? Well, I think my old ones were pretty much the best ones. So I've done that, I've sort of gone under that style by recreating this room entirely. Very simple uh, thing, pretty much there's, if you just see, about, see a piston there, and each um, snowman provides snow blocks to these four things. It's still not quite as efficient as I like it. So um, I'm not quite sure how to make it a bit more efficient, but I'll probably think of some ways. And uh, I need to cough very badly for one second. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry. Anyway, now I've still got it in my throat. I'll be back. Wait. Wow, that was weird. Have you ever had a cough like really badly, like and you just can't stop coughing no matter what? And I felt seal this off. Whoops. Um. Yeah. But yeah, that just happened. Very weird. Um. But this is a pretty good sword. And um. Yeah, as you saw there, I made the new system. I probably should show you a bit more. I didn't really show you it because I felt the thing come in my throat, so I ended up quite quickly. Uh, but yeah, um, pretty much the pistons are on a 0 0.2 tick delay before they push out again. But they only ever push out if this is empty, and you can probably just about see a red alloy wire there. That's um, doing that's like sending a, a redstone signal to. Uh, uh, wireless receiver here, and what obviously the ones up there as well are received to tell me that it's full to tell me if um, there's stuff in it, which they're like, hence the red pretty much, which is cool. And also, um, if any of you watch Anzor and his videos to making new stuff, oh, well, that's my, my altar room, isn't it? It doesn't look good. I'll, actually, I'll go down and show you because I've done some improvements to it since the last episode. Um, but Anzor has been releasing videos of Thomcraft too, and some of them are pretty cool. Um, this is the the new design to the room, by the way. I think it looks cool. Lights up the room a lot. But anyways, so what Anzor has done is he's made um some new things to some old. Uh, versions of the mod, about old versions, I mean the current one which I have right now but for him they're old and he's like redone them in Thomcraft 2 and I'm I'm not sure, don't don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure you're able to use Thomcraft 2 without having Thomcraft 1 installed and still get all the good old Thomcraft 1 stuff 
Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me on it. But well, I just did quote it, so you can. But uh, that may not be right. That that could be false information. And I'm wandering around doing nothing. Sorry, I may do this for about a minute. Um, but yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um, so he pretty much has designed uh, new versions of old things in the game, and some of them look really cool. Especially one that really caught my eye was the Arcane Boar. And um, to do with the Arcane Boar, I haven't actually really been doing anything with it. And um, I thought that should probably come to an end soon, because uh, and there's a lot of stuff I haven't done actually in Thumbcraft, and I'm quite annoyed at that because I would thought I would like to get a bit more done in the normal Thumbcraft stuff, and I never really did. So I'm gonna do some more stuff now, and I'm gonna start off with the portable V's node thing. Okay, so uh, this is how you make it here: portable V's node. And these are very handy devices, and for some reason I've never even really been using them. Uh, same goes with the travelling trunks, and I, I made them one episode ages ago, and I never really went for them. Um, the reason I haven't really been going with the travelling trunks is because they're not really my type of thing, you know. I wouldn't trust myself to put my valuable items after caving in a chunk, or in a trunk which could easily die or something. That's why I exchanged it with the ender chest stuff, that's why I normally do it with it. But I think these portable node things here are pretty handy. So if I head into this, um, I'm not sure if I have the stuff. No, I do not have the block. So I just need to make one. Very, they're very simple to make. What you need to do is get some glass. There, I got some glass right here. And and if I head over to my uh, chant or not chanting room, my infusing room here. Take out this. Oh, by the way, this I'm not sure if this is a bug, um, but this is how my infuser looks now. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. I'm pretty sure it is a bug though, because I don't know why he would change the look of the infusers to something which is uglier. Um, but hey, I, I don't know. Um, but as you can hear now, my pistons are going like crazy and my frames have dropped like mad uh, well not mad they're only about two or three less so it's not too bad but yeah they have definitely dropped um, if you're wondering what this is sorry about the pistons in the background uh, but if you're wondering what this is this, um, this is something to do with the portable node actually and once this is made I will show you what I plan to do with it solidified V's there we go now we will zoom back over here using our very handy sword and my lag will hopefully soon even out there we go portable V's node very very easy very simple but very very good idea it even comes filled for you which is quite nice I quite think um, okay so apparently if you break it it comes unfilled. Okay, I thought they would actually be a bit more durable than that. So I'll go make another one. Okay, let's make four more of these. Now I sort of know how they work. Um, didn't realize I should have done some of my research in this actually before I started the episode. Um, okay, so that little thing I showed you in the wall will then not really work. Um, I'll show you it now. Um, sorry if my voice is really weird by the way. I've got I think I've got like some sort of throat infection going on, so maybe a bit gravelly this episode. But um pretty much what this was originally meant to be was I thought these were like refillable. Um so originally I was gonna put them here and it'll fill them for me and then I could just hop off with it. Uh that does not work anymore, so we will seal that up. I didn't realise that you couldn't do that. Um I should have done my research in this as I said. But instead of complaining, we're going to head uh, to get some arcane boars, actually. So, if you remember this place from a couple of episodes ago, eps ago? episodes ago, um, this is my arcane boar area, and I uh, pretty much cleared it. Oh, redstone! Um, I pretty much cleared it out, and this huge hole here was pretty much made by an arcane boar. 
Now, it's not actually as sort of flat as this. I sort of squared it off thinking that I could make something out of it some later stage, like a base or something, like an underground base. And then I realised the beauties of uh, uh, strongholds, so I sort of went there instead. But um, it pretty much never stops going out, and it does suck up all these materials for you, except obviously these ones which are out of its range. But um, this wall here, it doesn't stop here. It pretty much goes on as long. As, I'm not sure how far it is, but I'm pretty sure if there's a loaded chunk in front of it, it will suck it up as long as it's in its range in front of it. Like, as I think three blocks up, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, we're gonna mess around with some of these in our stronghold base now. Okay, so for these arcane boars, uh, what you need is a boar, which are these things, and a focuser. Which I have always shown you before, but I've got about up to 200 new subscribers, I think, since I last showed it. So I'm sort of showing it in their behalf. Uh, so, what is it? Uh, I need to do this. And I also need to get some arcane singularities, which um, are very cool things. You get cool cataclysm from them. But, I'm going to set this up in a room, which I'm not sure where it is yet. So, I'll get back to you when I think of a good area to set this up. Do you remember this room up here? Well I was originally going to make this my sort of snowball generator room and send them to the machines and teleport pipes um, but it never really worked out for me so I think what I'm going to do instead is make this into my arcane bore room maybe. Just an idea. Get rid of all the sandy redstone stuff which I didn't realize I still had up here. Um, I don't even think you saw me build this on camera. Uh, this was for another idea I had which I ended up not doing uh, but yeah so clean this up a bit first of all and how am I going to do this um, I guess if I just sort of do the same setup as I had last time where I where do I have uh, <coughs> sorry as I say coughing may be quite common in this episode and my throat is very sore I can still talk fine, it's just, um, you know, I still do enjoy doing this, it's just like, quite awkward. It sounds like I'm quite gravelly, I know. I need to make this symmetrical, I'm very sorry. I'm That's two out. That needs to be two out. It means this needs to be also two out. Um, <coughs> which would mean it would have to be two out from here. Uh, don't worry about the stuff in front of it, it will all get cleared by the boar. So I'm not really fussed that much about it. And then we get our focusers to say which way we want it to mine out. And obviously I want it to go straight ahead. Boop, there we go. And um what I want to do is I want to make a universal collection point for it. So what I'm thinking is um I could get some teleport pipes which are here um, do you have any other types of pipes? I think I have some, I have some definitely I've got some cobblestone a gold would be nice as well and uh, hmm I want a chest, I only have one I can set up the chest afterwards <coughs> sorry I'm not really explaining what I'm doing I don't think, uh, this episode I'm very uh, this episode may be not, not a bad episode, just a bit unclear because I'm very unsure in the head right now. Um, but what we're going to do, nevertheless, is pretty much I'll, I'll show you how these work actually. First of all, um, so I need 16. No, stupid because <laughs> it's not. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, 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 sixteen. There we go. And then sixteen. And uh, make it fair. Even amounts right for now. And pretty much what happens then once we apply a redstone signal, which I. Do I have torches? No, because I put my torch away, obviously. Um, <laughs> oh well. I'll just use one torch and then attach it all using. Alloy wires. I think alloy wires work, don't it? Don't they? Whoops. They should work. I don't know why they wouldn't work. 
yeah they do so as you can see it pretty much just sucks in all the items and they all come squirting out the back and uh, that's nice obviously but there's no real way of me collecting it so it's not very practical so what I want to do is I want to make it so that I can pick up these items using things like uh, by using a chest and what I'm going to do is have a, like, sort of a universal chest pickup zone in which I will pick up all the items from this in a chest and what I want to do is make it so that that chest pretty much um, I don't actually need to go anywhere so I could have this room activated from down in my lobby area pretty much is what I'm trying to say and what I need to do is get these gold pipes here and I'm going to need some more sticks aren't I I am going to need to go down and get some more redstone torches which I th I'm pretty sure I had one or two on me I think I got rid of them accidentally hmm no redstone torches I'll just make some then plenty of redstone there we go and I did not actually take the those ones uh, what can I do what can I do so use that these here, get these here, and it will be fine. Actually nine because I've had the old one. And we head down here. Up here. Cross here. And to my area again. <coughs> and what I'm thinking is um just to save pretty much uh, energy and stuff like that. No, 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 because I need to use my wireless receivers, actually. Never mind, never mind, change plan, <laughs> change plan. But what I'm do I am wondering is, uh, can you, can these be powered by alloy wires? <coughs> um, they should be able to, I don't know why they wouldn't be able to, but we might as well check. There we go. I may need to get some more otherwise. Yep, good they can. Okay, so that's that's all I really need to know. Then, and also on top of that, that also powers that, which is very handy because that means I can just kind of go bang bang, uh, and then bang bang bang. But nope. So I didn't even need any torches anyway then. Goes there. <coughs> sorry, very, very sorry. And I need to go down and get some more alloy wires. It's always great fun. And where would they be? They would be obviously in the redstone chest. Got 29, that's plenty. Why am I not, well, why am I not using my sword to get around? I don't know. There we go, well, that's a lot better, a lot faster, what we want. Okay, now if this should work, if this is activated, which obviously I cannot activate, it, okay, so that doesn't actually power it due to that being weird, obviously. Um, <coughs> sorry. Okay, I always say sorry, I don't know why. Uh, just for example, I do know that 34 is available. And yes, it works good. Obviously, I don't want that. I'll have it frequency 16. Remember, remind me of that frequency. Good. And uh, now that we got that, what I want to do is <coughs> pretty much connect these into like one universal pipe. And that one universal pipe will be here. And then also, it will all go to one universal teleport pipe. Which we'll put here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And we will set this to frequency, let's say, just to keep it simple. Oh no, I'm already using 16, okay. Um, 86, good number. Mm-hmm. And if we can go down here, well, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, 
Either way, I will say sorry for no apparent reason. You're going to get a lot of that today. Why, am I, why, did I, why did I go there for chests? I don't know. Um, no, I do not have any more chests. Great. Um, well, for now, this will be fine. Oh, yeah, this chest. I, I don't have to use this chest. Great. Um, I'm gonna need to move it anyway. Sorry, I'm I'm not actually talking correctly. Okay, this so this is gonna be my flow chest pretty much, if you wanna call it something. Um I want it to come in from the ground. Now this will be er uh, retrieve true and it'll be eighty six. There we go. And boom boom. So pretty much that will receive every single item which is pretty much absorbed by these things. So we head up here once again and 16. Sorry, I did forget it, <laughs> even though I said to myself I won't. I believe, if I'm correct, there should be a, a thing right here. Yeah, that was handy. Um, because I was doing it for a project which I never really went with, and handily enough, that's right above. Uh, this so what I'm going to do is if I can get a lever which I think no I don't know because you need a stick for a lever obviously always out of sticks uh, we put this here nope down there we get our stick by making a stick and we put this here put these here might as well make four because I'm out of levers put this Where's my lever? There it is. Put my lever here and down. And this is picking up blocks. That's nice. Um, <coughs> sorry again. Hmm. I do not like the way it's coming into that chest, though. The, you know, the set, the second one. Is that the first one? I do. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, very easily fixed. Um, <laughs> one second. <coughs> there we go. And to fix it, all we need to do is simply put it here. There we go. A lot nicer. And it's generating quite a bit of lag, so I'm going to turn that off for now. Um, I'm probably going to do the arcane boring mining off camera just because it's very laggy, obviously. And let's just quickly see how well this is mined out first. <coughs> pretty well, I would say. Um, seems very good. And I know I'm, I'm going to be getting a lot of comments going like, why don't you make a sorting machine? Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine, okay. It's an entire cave system under here? That's pretty cool. Um, wow. Yeah, but anyway, I know I'm going to get a load of comments saying, why don't you make a sorting machine like Dire Wolf has, or maybe not, really. Um, <coughs> uh, I don't really know how to make a sorting machine that well. Also, I don't really think I'm... Like, e I, I could easily work it out, I'm guessing. What What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Um, I could easily work out probably how to make a, so a sorting machine. It's just... I'm not really sure I want to make one. If people are wanting me to. I know no one's actually asked me to, I'm just sort of rambling on about stuff which hasn't actually happened. I do that a lot. Um, <coughs> there we go. Oh no, I've forgotten the way. Where was it? Oh, well, it, was in, it was in the water, wasn't it? It was under here. It was here. There we go, that word, there it is. And this digs three below and three above, so that's quite nice. And I'm assuming it's three, yeah, it's three to the side as well. And how am I going to get up? <coughs> um, I need to probably make some sort of actual way, official way up here. But for now, I'm sure it's fine as it is. And I'm going to leave this mining for a minute or two and I'll come back to you when the chest gets filled we're going to see what we picked up uh, resource wise good 
So I have uh, left that running for about maybe 10-20 minutes and let's see how well it has done. It was not worth it. 6 iron, 2 gold. I think I'm at a bad level for mining. What, what level am I at? Let's see. Whoa, 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 that brought up some lag. Well, I am at level 20, 27, which, you know, it's quite low, you know. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I said sorry so many times this episode, and my voice is going, so I. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but anyways, so as we are coming down to here, um, we head over to this place here for no apparent reason, and go back up again. Okay, so that didn't really work out as well as I was hoping it would. Let's uh, head back up there. And just for the sake of seeing it, let's see how well it got mined out. Because, uh, well, the actual structure of it itself looks pretty good. And do the funny thing is, every time I, you do this thing with torches, it, the torch just sort of gets going away. That is interesting. The blocks did not update. For the water. Very interesting. How'd that work out? I don't know. Um... If I do that, it should wipe everything out. But anyways, so yeah, we got pretty far. Um, I don't think it was quite 20 minutes. It felt like 20 minutes. Um, it's probably about three. I think that was probably a more realistic sum of numbers. But yeah, this is kind of how it looks like uh, when you're finished mining it out, which is fun. It's actually a pretty cool cave system down here. I may do something here maybe to end the series hint hint um no 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 all the noobs will be freaking out going you're ending the craft no you cannot do that i mean season one that's what i mean because season two is coming out when thumbcraft two comes out which is sometime this month according to anzor and see anzor is probably sitting there right now typing it's not this month and i'm just going like sending false information across the entire thumbcraft community so, uh, no sweat. But anyways, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's a bit less than 30 minutes, but I think you're all okay with that. And if I talk for any longer, my voice is going to cut out of me. And I'll be voiceless for tomorrow. So, I'm going to head downstairs, get some, some hot drink and custard. And we will smooth my voice for tomorrow. And um, I'll make more videos tomorrow with hopefully a better voice. So, see you next time. Bye. Oh, and, uh, also, um, what was I going to talk about? <coughs> what was I going to talk about? I forgot. Ah, uh, there's something important I have to tell you guys. Uh, what was it? It was that, the fact that, um, what was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. Um, next week onwards, there actually there may be a slight reduce in videos, uh, not due to sort of me not wanting to make them or anything, but uh, I've got like a really 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 busy week next week, um, with loads of school stuff. So you know, I may not be available for a lot of next week, and I'm just wearing my sword down. But anyway, MSA out. World download is in the description, and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I guess. See ya.